Hey there, guys, gales, fans, and there we go, capture. <laughs> guys, guys, gales, fans, and fails. Your buddy John Megacycle here, another episode of Wall World coming at you. Yeah, we're doing uh, hard difficulty still. There's the verifier, hard difficulty. Last episode was really good. We got the seismic generator, that's unlocked. Vibrates, rocks apart, awesome. We got another level of the rocket launcher, we got another level of the engine. We got some really heavy hitting upgrades last time, and I'm really thankful for all that. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. I'm curious to see how the Vibratomatron works or whatever. Seismic generator? I like Vibratomatron better. It sounds a little more. Whoa, I am very fast. Is it do. Nope. Oh. Oh, okay. So, yeah, exactly what it says on the tin. Good stuff. Uh, so I can leave that top area and just scram off, do my own thing, I guess? Oh, man, I would love to see more upgrades for that. Um, that saves me a very considerable amount of time. So I just don't have to fart around with the front of the mine at all? At least on this low-level stuff, right? Hopefully we'll find them more range, more frequent, stronger vibrations, that kind of a thing. But right now, though, that's a toe-tapping good time. Cool. Instant, instant, uh, nano materials as well. That's really cool. I'm gonna snag-a-leg all this and all this. Oh yeah, and there's just minerals right there for the take. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that very, very much. Okay, so what do we got? Resource radar. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Mining and speed. How about that? Cool, thanks. Cool, thanks. Yep, that's very neat. Oh, I re I really like that. I can't overstress how much that's that brings joy. That brings just unparalleled levels of satisfaction to my table. And I will eat like a king and feast on the minerals it provides. Yes. Uh, in the intro part of the game, it does say like the wall provides everything we need. There's a weapon here. Um, it says the wall provides everything we need, but the mines are going to run out eventually, so we need to explore outside of Stake Thor, cool. Outside the area that we're accustomed to or whatever. I'm assuming these aren't humans. They're humanoids. They're human-shaped, right? But I'm going to guess they're, uh, what is it called in Stellaris? You just eat minerals? What do they, what do they call them? Lithoids? I mean, if all we're really caring about is minerals, and I didn't really see any sort of food scheme or processing or generation structure, right? I'm going to assume we're all lithoids, and we're mining the tasty, tasty rock. Okay, we've already gotten all of the collectibles in this area. I'm just going to go. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. I think that worked out pretty well. We're going to go up one, and then we're going to go down. And now that I'm deployed, we have the auto drill, and we have the seismic thingamadoo. Much of the work ought to just be done for us. Well, not not like much, much of the work, but, you know, some of it, some free hits. I should really be attacking and addressing the stuff that's very close and already attacking me. I get distracted. I really do. <laughs> Uh, I used to be a lot more vigilant in terms of paying attention and crap, but not so much no mo. Hey, take that back. Uh, that means I could do this. And with a little bit more work, we can get another hit. So what's happening with a lot of loops like this is the early game should be getting smaller and smaller and smaller. The mid game should be getting wider. And the late game 
will start off really short, but should also be getting longer itself, right? That's kind of how this ought to work. So, with this automatic seismic crush him up a matron, the early game is getting shorter, meaning we're able to progress technologically faster than we were in the past. So, the time we're getting to our two levels of mining and one level of maneuverability, which is what I really want, the time it takes to get there is shortened a little bit every time we play. And that's pretty great. Okay, I think we've reached the end of this. Good enough. Good enough. Um, I'm probably gonna have to upgrade the gun. I'd really like to upgrade other stuff. But... I don't have the drone. I love that the missile will just go find some other target. That's, that's really cool. I wasn't a fan of it just exploding for no reason. But the fact that it'll go look for another target is pretty dope. Uh, was there more I wanted to do here? I mean, probably. Okay, so let's do some math here. 51? 54, yes. We have confirmed. Much more dense nanomaterials if we go to other biomes. So that is, again, incentivizing that we shouldn't be messing around this early area much. This is easy pickings. We are playing on hard. It makes sense that I'd want to baby it a little bit. Just a little bit. It makes It makes sense. It makes good sense. We'll dump this off, and then we're just going to head south right away. Uh, drone system. Hot jams. I love it. Oh, yeah. We're scooting now. Oh, this is great. A lot less wasted time faffing about moving around. Yeah, that's grand. Okay, uh... I have 27. I would like to get some drone upgrades. Reload speed... Oh, I can't afford spread yet. Uh, so let's see. What is this one? Spread? Oh, I can't afford spread. Right, right, right. Uh, that'll put me at 22, and I'm one short. Unfortunate. There's some quick minerals I can snag, just real fast. Thank you. Cool. That makes you very combat viable. Nice! I actually hit them both. The spike just goes zoom. Uh, I have to pause. Mm, nah. It's work. I'm gonna let that go to voicemail. It's a, it's my day off. <laughs> well, let's let that go to voicemail. I'll get it after the episode. It's fine. I'm a pretty responsible worker. This one's not going to have anything special about it. I just want the minerals. 
There's not going to be a relic, an artifact, or whatever. I don't think. We haven't gotten one yet. Not in this initial green area, I don't think, anyway. So, there's that. There's that. Since this was the bottleneck for our upgrades, I want to see if we can get a little more green. Uh, okay. Little more green. I don't think it's gonna happen. Yep, it's not gonna happen. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. I kind of figured. I knew we weren't gonna get anything else, but I was hoping we'd get a little more green action. I want to launch the stakes first so I can deal with whatever other shenaniganry. Did I clip him? Yeah, I did. Hey, nice. Drone? Drone buddy? Okay, cool. I was feeling risky. Yeah, I could have I could have left if I was feeling risky. Okay, hoping for a uh, schematic. Oh, that was fast. Uh, uranium core, 10% damage from every bullet. Cool, okay. That's fine. We'll get some more materials. We're done. So yeah, the, the smaller mines, we're moving through them faster. We're picking, we're cleaning, it's working pretty good. I was hoping there's gonna be one more mine, but I guess not. Perfect timing. Yep, Drone Buddy's doing really well keeping the riffraff off. I really hope we get the same setup we got last time, but that's very strongly not going to happen, I'm sure of it. Uh, but we're in a new biome now. Fight timer has been reset. Hoping we can find something good. Yeah, I don't know how frequently the blueprints will drop. I don't know how that mechanic works. Is this a weapon? Oh! <laughs> Every time I bring it up, it just happens. Torpedo drilling unit. When, this, when the plasma drill finishes, it fires a torpedo that explodes at the end of the pit and destroys blocks within a small radius. That's dope as hell! Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's turning more and more into the very first cave, or the very first mine, is just uh, formality, right? It's almost seman uh, semantics at this point. Or in the words of Tangy Mustard from Sublo and Tangy Mustard. You're getting on with semantics. You mean semantics? Yeah, there you go again. <laughs> We're just going to blast through this a little bit. Want them green buddies. Uh, there's probably some upgrades I should have. Yes. Oh, Pisatia. Uh, yeah. Heck yes. I don't think we were able to get these upgrades before. 
The range isn't, like, the end of the world good stuff, but, like, it allows me to keep interacting with blocks as we're moving out. That's pretty cool. Okay, here's what we're gonna do about this. Better not go outside today. There's a metric ton of Xyrex on the wall. Eh, it's no problem. I have a gun. And I have a bunch of games to play today, so please don't disturb me. You're the one that started it. You you started this conversation. No, actually, I take that back. I did hit E. That is, that's on me. I did. I did want a neighborly chat. My fault. Yeah, if I can avoid a lot of that dumb fire, I will. And we move fast now, so it's not like it's that big of a deal, right? I think we thinned them out pretty good. Yeah, we did, son. Show sure did, son. Now that we have, like, movement, movement, we can actually be a little bit more defensive without, like, having to have a defense. Does that make sense? I don't know if that made sense. I could be more agile. Uh, a weapon? I honestly wouldn't mind the singularity shot again. This is probably the bomb launcher. Cluster grenade launcher. Burst of grenades in a ballistic trajectory. Okay. Realistically, I'm, I'm still kind of hung up on the I can't fight the big bad with it, right? So kinda who cares? Like, it's not- it's probably not a bad weapon, but... Um, I don't know. Anything that's indirect kind of feels like it's gonna be too hit-miss for me to find it useful. Okay, I don't know if I'll come back for those guys. How much do we have? 12? Um, we're very close to another level of mining. Or I beef up the drone. Let's not be dumb. Let's beef up the drone. Uh, I am done with this area though. I think what I want to do is, after we clear this, instead of continuously going down, I want to go up. I was going to say, for the main reason of getting green stuff, and now I have a bunch of green stuff. Oh, um... I think I like that. It's a higher chance to hit because there's three of them. I do not like how clumped up you guys are, and at the same time, I kind of do. The thing is, the game kind of gives away that there is a floor. There is legitimately a floor to the game because I'm hearing explosions. So one of two things is happening. Either they're hitting a solid object and they're exploding or they're on a timer and they're just exploding because they're supposed to explode. Okay, this weapon is terrible for this. Uh, hard to say which one. Leave it up to the leave it up to the viewer to decide. But I could see it either way. I, if somebody said, yeah, there's a totally a floor, they hint about it or something. Like, it's in the legend books of lore. Uh, sure, I would believe it. Uh, or if it's just someone's like, oh, another blueprint. Yes, okay, we got the missile. We have a depth scanner. I just scan the size of the mine and the spider's connected. Nice, okay, cool. That helps out a lot. 
We're just gonna muscle through this, see if we can get some more minerals. And uh, just move on with our life, I think. I'm not gonna dink around too much for artifacts or anomalies or relics or whatever the heck they're called. Now, is this the bottom? No. But once once we finish this, we're gonna go up. Uh, alright. And thus it turns out there was no doubt the wall was in fact created by curmudgeony mushrooms. Curmudgeshrooms. Cantankerous fungi of the peculiar sorts. Ish. I peshesha. <laughs> yeah, we're still doing that. Oh, I guess I don't have to worry about the front anymore and I keep messing with it because now I've got a drill that will pierce the heavens. Well, cool. I'll take you. I have to leave the mine, like, in a half second anyway. Might as well have a relic with me. Boop. Zoobity boop. Zoobity scoop. What do we get? You found the overdrive. Every 60 seconds, it allows you to accelerate for a short time. Neat! So many neat things! Honestly, the way I'm feeling about the stake launcher, it works pretty good as a level one item. Uh, no improvements, no changes. Yeah, I think it works out pretty well. Does the grenade work pretty good with this? Kind of. The problem is I have to hit the... There we go. Oh, that worked out pretty well. Is it shift to overdrive? Okay. We're going to do a little more... Oh, yeah. I want to check out... Okay, yeah. A little, little speedy boost. I like it. I like it. Huh. Human music. Well, I like it. <laughs> Jerry. Oh, man. You gotta... You gotta... <laughs> you gotta tip your hat. He's got some endurance on him. Mental and... <laughs> just... I think I would have lost my kerbibbles if I was ever in Jerry's position for more than five minutes. Huh. Human music. I like it. Just that little bit of uh, being naive, right? Little naive, naive. I don't know. I miss those days when I was a little more naive and not so a hundred percent cynical. But in the same regard, I'm kind of happy I'm cynical. It's kept me sane and alive. Two things that, well, it's kept me alive. Two things that I'm thankful for. <laughs> Very thankful for. Okay, now we use the overdrive to leave. And 10 seconds we're gonna be in Crazy Town. Faster reload speed, cool. Overdrive, let me guess, speed. Overdrive duration, school, school? Skill cooldown. Came to school down. Um, I'm going to do some repairs. I want to save more of the greens. Oh, we can do the next drilling efficiency. Or... That works out perfectly. Okay. We deploy. Is this the bottom? This is the bottom. We are now going up. Does the missile one-shot? It doesn't one-shot. Okay. Uh, I was really hoping the missile would one-shot, then I'd only have to deal with two cycles of bad guy. But that's okay. So is it four cycles? Two missiles? Two, two things? No, it's even more. What? Didn't we upgrade our missiles? Am I daft? I thought we upgraded our missiles. Yeah, I want to get these explodey boys out of the way first. This battle music is very Blaster Master. Absolutely. Come on. Come on, bite it already. 
I don't know if I'm safe. Hey, nice. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way up. I wish I had uh, building stuff. I wish instead of that last upgrade, I'd just build two or three drills or resource collectors or whatever they're called. Call it a day in my own special way, cause I call it a day in my own special way. Uh, yeah, we had like, what, 200 nano bits, and now we've got 7,500 just about, just about. I see that's pretty good. Hopefully I'll be able to do at least one mine worth of mining before we go to the next area. I wouldn't mine more blue bits. And with the new drill... Oh, okay. Day 53. I cracked and I just started hammering at the wall with my pickaxe. As a result, pickaxe got stuck in the water hole. Try as I might, I can't pull it out. Well, at least the knocking stopped. Uh, I like how the body is completely... All the bones are just missing. Or, they're, they're, all the meat off the bone is gone, right? But the hair is still looking pretty good. I don't know at what rate hair decays. Murder mystery and murder science isn't, like, my jam, so I don't, I don't know. Like, if somebody brought me to a crime scene, they're like, Can you identify the body? I'm like... It's a body. I don't know what you wanted out of me. Like, did you want, like, gender and weight and size of person or something? I have no idea, man. It's a body. I've identified it. It is a... That is a body. That's as far as we're going to get with this. No other research is going to be accomplished today. I... I would really like an upgrade that would allow me to just run these fools over. That is something I'm, I'm, I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm very looking forward to that being a thing. Because, like, getting stuck up by these little guys is not fun at all. Not being able to move because there's a dude with a toothpick in the way? Come on. I'm in, like, a 40-ton mech suit or something. This thing can't be light, right? How am I getting stuck? Ooh. Okay, these look like Fancy D20s or something. Oh, and we're at the right mining level as well. Uh, mining power? Yeah, this is this is perfect. This is the right transition for strength, I think. So we do the one we're in. We go down one. Come up two. Oh, is this another weapon? This is going to be perfect for overdrive. Bomb thrower. Okay. Yep, we've seen that one before. That's fine. I don't think there's anything else going on in those rooms. I don't see any other, like, very obvious cracks or anything I can explore. So I'm sure these also yield a fair amount of the nano materials. I'm not going to bother to check every single biome, but at least we proved that literally any other biome is better than the original. Uh-huh. Let's get all that. Come on, boys. A little more. Thank you. And over here. And thank you. Okay, what do we have? Um... Oh, that is... What is this? Defocus drill spits the tongue of the drill into two... Minus 20 drilling efficiency of every plasma jet. Cool. I mean, it doubles and then it minuses 20. That still seems like pretty good math, I think. Um, Drone? Is there any more drone upgrades I can get? Plus five shots in a burst? Yep. That's a keeper. That's a keeper for sure. The rotate dance...
I do not like it when you guys bite my ship. If you could not do that, that'd be great. Um, let's see here. Because I didn't go down another biome, I don't have the hypercell repair. So that makes this a little more tricky, but that's okay. So we've already gotten a weapon. I don't think we're gonna also get a blueprint here, but I'm willing to do a little digging around. I also don't know if there's a limit. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything else here. Uh, I don't know if there's a limit on how many blueprints you can get in a run. It would make sense if there's a hard limit, like roll the dice, keep rolling the dice until player has three. Once player has three new blueprints or four new blueprints or something, stop rolling the dice. Just regenerate the room with blank garbage or empty space or something else, right? Oh, hello. Have you seen those dressed up scribblers in their cells? I found them still alive and they know nothing about the wall. Scribblers. I wonder what that means. Ah, huh. okay. Well, whatever. It isn't ours to know? Who knows? Oh, okay. Another... Yeah, we're gonna... This, this is gonna be just gratuitous levels of just machine gun through. Whoa, okay. Not super shocking, but a little shocking. Okay, I was hoping I'd get to the end of it. I cannot. Okay, we're just gonna have to leave. This is gonna be a really nice re-up on a lot of the basic materials. A turret replicator allows you to build turrets to the entrances of unoccupied mines. Turrets attack enemies automatically and require no maintenance. Um, I don't know if that's a really good purchase considering the drone can hang around us and be with us and continue on the journey. Whereas the turret is going to be stationary and stuck, right? Plus 50% damage for every shot. We're definitely buying that. Like, that seems like a smarter investment to me. I should really be using control. I'm gonna risk it. Yep, cool. That stuff is gonna be a little tricky to time, but that would be really cool if I could get that on a very repetitious manner. Meaning I know when the last of the wave is going, is going to occur. Uh, can I leave early, right? Similar thought pattern with RTS games. If you have a unit, like an artillery unit, that takes a while to load and fire, if you know for fact, if you if you can do the mental math, you know for fact the last shot that it fired is going to destroy the structure, but it's going to shoot again, wasting that next shot, Tell the vehicle to stop and reposition elsewhere, right? It's that kind of a thing. You can save an entire shot. So instead of it hitting the empty ground where the building once stood or whatever... Oh, come on now. You can you can get a lot more DPS out of it by just telling it to stop firing. Now the unit knows that it's still there, right? It knows it's still real, so it wants to keep shooting because it hasn't fulfilled its order, technically. Uh, but it makes a lot more sense to just tell it, hey, why don't you just not... Whoa. Hi, I'm Ben. Hey, I'm Ben, too. Ben, too? What a strange name. Are you foreign? Bunny. Frickin', frickin' dad jokes. I'm so hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm dad. Get out of here. Okay, I want the bifurcating laser chain gun mining thing. Can I get that? Yeesh! Peshesha! How's this, how's this look? Yes, exactly like it sounds on the tin! Okay, it's enemy wave time, though. Oh, I think we're in really good hands now. Nice. 
Okay, we are cleaning house regularly. This is great. Don't bother checking the sink for dishes, because we cleaned house. I got overdrive at the ready, so I can boogaloo out of here pretty on the fast. Yeah. 11 more, uh, 11,000 more materials guarantees we're going to be able to buy something. What that something is, I just don't know. Write that down in your copy books now. A little bit of a uh, look around you. Oh gosh, that is such a brilliant show. It's a British show. It's old by now. It's got to be like 20 years old or something. It had uh, Peter Serafinowicz from Shaun of the Dead. I think is like where most people might have met Pete. It's, it's Pete. That literally is like his real name is Pete. Um, but it's, his name is Peter Serafinowicz. And he's an actor. And they do, they do school science show. But all the science is just garbage. It's hilarious garbage. Uh, the inventor of iron has three eyes. Iron de Havilland. The inventor of iron. Uh, it's just really, really silly. So resource harvester. Cool. So one of the things they say is after they say some words, they're like, <laughs> what an interesting observation. Write that down in your copy books now. I think that's funny as hell. Uh, I want... Oh, this splits three ways? Holy dams. Okay, uh, enough of that. Is there anything more drone-related I can pick up? I'm gonna guess the answer is a heartfelt no until I get these purple shard... dangers, whatever they're called. Not really interested in the upgrades for the resource collector. I will be buying some... Some resource collectors, though. Machine gun fire rate, more damage. Yes, I have the scratch. Oh. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I guess I'm not getting a freaking resource collector. No, I want the... Machine gun. Okay, I need something other than the machine gun. You come back down here. That better have done it. Cool. Heavy machine gun from what? Metal slug, I think that one is. Get him! Get him in the face, get him in the head. Now I can probably leave. Now I can definitely leave. Uh, maybe not definitely, definitely, but let's see how that pans out. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if there was more I wanted to get. I don't think there's any more to get. Let's just double check. Yep, nothing. Cool. I need a little bit of a better mnemonic or something, some mental thing to remind me that the mine is clear and I can leave. I had all these resources piled here though, and I didn't want to leave all this behind. Oh, there's a lot here. Oh man. Yeah, don't worry. We're gonna button that up real, real nice. Like. Boop, stoop, stoop, a doop, boopity stoop. Yep, and I don't care. My lasers are tiny, but they're really effective. Uh, movement speed and range? It's more likely than you think. Don't mind if I does. Oh, more pile of mineral. Awesome.
Uh, did that afford me anything super cool? More gun upgrade. Nothing for the drone, and I'm not really concerning myself with anything else. More machine gun fire rate? I'll take that. Dang, that little drone guy's really pulling some weight over here. Do 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 damn. Yeah, so this is where we're getting much farther into the one episode per run. We talked about that a little bit last episode, and now that we're running longer, it doesn't make any sense for me to cram multiple runs into a single episode, because I think what happens is, at least for me, um, I like to compartmentalize stuff, like, not just conversations and stuff like that, but, like, when it really comes down to it, I like to just, when I start something, I like to finish it, so when it comes to something being YouTube and episodic, to me, it works out really well. It's just like a TV show, right? It works out fairly well for my brain anyway. And then I like to finish an episode when I watch a thing, and then I feel the sense of accomplishment that I finished the episode, and then I move on to something else. But then I'm not always like, man, this is a six-hour thing. Where did I lose my place? Oh, I gotta I gotta find my place, or I gotta remember to do a timestamp thing. You know, no, no saying that's bad. I'm not saying that's bad at all. No saying. No Super Saiyans. <laughs> I'm not saying that's bad at all, it's just not my style. You know, that's that's kind of where I'm coming from. Cool, we're out of here. That was a lot of materials we just scoop scooped. Plus 20% damage from every bullet, plus 10% bullet size, minus fire rate. I think that's okay. Uh, we're gonna grab that guy. And we are going to move until we breach again. Now, what I probably should have done is I probably should have went all the way down. Uh, so right now it's the biome we start in and then down and then up. Maybe that's like the smart move. I don't know. trying to stay ahead of this. I don't- I, I have no idea if I'm aiming at anything. I literally couldn't tell you if I'm hitting anything. We survived. Holy cripes. I'm just as shocked as you are. Yeah, so the objective is, I think, when we get to this stage of our gameplay, is push back as far as we possibly can. Just go as far back as we can, get as much uncovered as we can, grab the raw resources as- Hey, another blueprint! Hot dangs! I was just gonna say it, and then see if we can get a blueprint. Automatically activates at the start of each fight and absorbs all incoming damage until it's depleted from hits. Awesome! Okay, that's great. Aside from what's obviously on the tin, allowing damage prevention is pretty spectacular. The thing that this really shines is, this allows my machine gun to be viable for longer. If a battle takes a little bit because I'm not kicking out the DPS, that's actually pretty okay. It's actually pretty okay. Okay, we're gonna have to make a couple trips, I think. 
Uh, I found a bomb. Yeesh. And we're just gonna keep clearing on the way. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Cleaning up as fast as we can. Uh, I don't think there's anything left here. We're just gonna leave. I got a blueprint. Realistically, once I get a blueprint, there's nothing keeping me around. Could, can just leave. I can just, just scoot. There's nothing else I'm looking for. Blueprints are going to be the strongest item that's going to help us carry from run to run. What weapon am I using? There we go. Okay, feels like it's thinning out because they're moving. That allows me to move back down. Is that the closest one to tap it was? Any other upgrades? Less bullet spread. Plus 90% drill range? Holy cripes. Ooh, new biome. I hope this gives us the uh, purple gems. The purple gemeralds? Oh, the gemeralds are green, obviously. I'm not seeing anything super promising here. Okay. Starting to see a little bit more mine complexity, which is neat. Uh, huh. How far does this go? And I still have not seen a different resource yet. Um, okay. Okay, we gotta go. This is a large mine. Absolutely. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's the stuff I'm looking for. Uh, right? Yes, it is. Oh, sweet jambalaya. I need so much blue. We're not going to get anything done. Um, okay. I knew that was going to happen. I didn't want to say it out loud, but I knew that was going to happen. Okay, just as a recap, we have not made it past this combat. Am I shooting? What's going on? Yes, I am. Um, there's so much damage that flows through this. And this is where we cry a lot. I have a fair amount of this. We're going to burn through a lot of this. C move, move, move. Oh, man. That was almost the end. That was almost the entire diggity and bomb. Okay. This is happening again. And I'm out of that repair. I can't actually use this. It needs four to open the ability and two to use the ability. 
I'm unable to repair any further. This is the end of the combat. Win, pass, fail, whatever. I really need that big guy to go. There we are. Yep. Could it move down? Cause the dorks. Could it move up? Cause the leg. That was that was it. Done and dusted. Twenty-one thousand. Okay. What did we What did we get? Depth scanner allows you to scan the size of the mine. It is spiders connected to? Yes. Force field automatically activates at the start of each fight and absorbs all damage until it's depleted from hits. Yeesh. Torpedo drilling unit. When the plasma drill finishes, it fires a torpedo that explodes at the end of the pit and destroys blocks within a small radius. Yeesh. Awesome. And we have enough for... Uh, almost another engine. Brats. Um, we do have enough for the masking plates and armor. Urgh. Or another vacuum cleaner. Masking plates, armor, I think is the better choice. Cool. That was a very good run. We got three blueprints, two regular upgrades. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. So thanks again for joining me. My name is John Megacycle. Another episode of Wall World is in the books, and I hope to catch you next time. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.